Dynamic Sort is a powerful add-on component for Excelsius 2008, enabling you to sort any data range within your dashboard without having to write a single line of Excel logic. Upon installing Dynamic Sort inside of Excelsius using the add-on manager, it is made available in the other folder within the components window. So dragging and dropping the sort component into the canvas and then selecting the property sheet by either double clicking or right clicking exposes a few properties that will lay, allow you to sort any data within this simple dashboard that we have here. In this case we have three columns of data one with our dimension and two with uh, sales measures for last month and this month and we have a simple chart that we've used to plot this data and what we want to accomplish is the ability to sort not only by dimension but also by last month or this month on the fly. So what we're going to do is first define our data source. So we can click on the source data button and what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the data that we want to dynamically sort on the fly within our dashboard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my range by a few rows in case we decide to add additional data. I'll click OK and then we can define if we want to sort our data by ascending or descending order. By default, dynamic sort will use the first column to dictate how all the data will be sorted. You also have the ability to change the sort column and even bind it to a cell so that you can dynamically change which column we'd like to sort by. So in this case, we're going to bind the sort column to cell B2. So as the value changes in B2 from 1 to 2 to even 3, we can dynamically change how we sort the data on the fly. Now what we need to do is insert a selector that will dynamically change this sort column. So what I'm going to do is insert a selector with a label based menu. We're going to bind the labels to our three columns, customer name, last month, and this month. We're going to bind the position to the sort column. So as I toggle between these three values, it will dynamically change the sort column, thus toggling dynamic sort to resort the data. If we go to the behavior tab, there's two behaviors checked by default. The first is ignore and blanks, and the second is a trigger which will cause the dynamic sort component to resort any time the data changes. Finally, in the appearance tab, we have the ability to show or hide the sort icon and change the background color. Now when I go to preview mode, we can see this in action. By default, dynamic sort will use the dimension or column 1 to sort the data. By clicking on last month, it will then use last month's data to dynamically sort the data and even this month. So by dynamically changing the sort column, you can change how dynamic sort will affect the data within our dashboard. And the dynamic sort icon exposed to the end user will allow them to dynamically toggle between ascending and descending order, both for text and numeric values.